Hello friends. So here we go uh, with the projection of solids. Okay, number 24, uh, where we have an uh, one hexagon pyramid, 25 mm side, 50 mm axis line. Rest one of its edges, which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Means uh, the resting edge is inclined to VP at 30 degree. So draw the projection of the prism pyramid uh, when the axis is inclined at 40 degree to the uh, sorry edge. Okay. So here. Oh, what we need to note down is uh, it's an hexagon pyramid okay so 25 mm and uh, 50 mm okay rests on one of its uh, edge okay so next uh, the axis is inclined at a 40 degree to hp because it is resting on hp so next will be inclined to the hp so the, the third position uh, the resting edge resting edge is inclined at 30 degree to the VP okay so these are the three things we to we need to make a note of it resting on edge axis is inclined at 40 degree and the same resting edge is inclined at uh, 30 degree to the VP okay so again to start with the so we'll have a reference line okay so we have hexagon resting on the edge so the side of the hexagon is a 25 mm so we just take a twenty five mm just drop a circle a thin okay this circle should be thin enough so resting on the edge so we need to drop a, a vertical projector okay so now from each end just cut the arc of a 25 mm. okay so if it is resting on the corner take the origin to projector okay so when this one is done just connect the to the each end so make that one dark. Okay. So now it is a, a pyramid. So the line joining from each corner to the center should be dark because those are the slant edges which are visible from the top like this okay so to have the dimension we just drop a line here and a closed one and it should be written like this it's a 25 mm so we'll write a b c d e and F O in the bracket O1 okay so this is how exactly we can drop the a pentagon pyramid so sorry hexagon pyramid so you just take a projections here okay so here we have 50 mm axis line so just drop this one dark okay why we are not drawing the axis line because see when we are viewing from here so we have these three corners so from each corner the line joining to that one will be dark okay so axis is beyond that one so we'll give a priority to the dark line okay so when this one is done so connect to the edges then to the bottom line, like this okay so this is very important so whenever we have a corner nearby okay through that corner each line will join to the apex okay so when we see from here so a f e so a dash so f dash and e dash so here we have a b dash and here we have o1 and c so c dash and o1 dash okay so here we have o dash so here we have E in the bracket D dash. Okay. So when this one is done, just drop the 
dimension okay so this is a 50 okay so when this one is done so now see the axis is inclined at a 40 degree so we'll take a 90 minus of 40 okay from left side from left side so we'll take any one reference here okay so 90 minus 40 it's a 50 degree so we'll take a 50 degree here and we'll just drop a thin line okay so then we'll take this line we'll cut it from the same reference point here okay so we'll say this is our a dash b dash and this is our e dash in the bracket d dash okay so when this one is done now take the midpoint here take the midpoint we'll write this is a f dash c dash and o one dash okay so when this one is done now take the apex that is o from here just cut and from here just cut one r okay so when this one is done now join the end points okay so like this now just join till here okay so now once you join this one so the same line will extend till here okay so now this you have to show as a 40 degree okay so you should not show here because it's a slant edge you will not get that 40 degree because they have said it's an axis inclined so you take it here okay so when this one is done so this is our o dash okay so while taking the projection so so be clear don't draw any extra lines take one rightmost okay and the bottom most okay so now either you can take a horizontal or a vertical so here we have vertical only three projections you just take those things down till here don't extend beyond those lines okay so now on this line so no, nothing is there so on this line this is a f okay so only f is there so on the f so now you take it so it's a So A and E. So on this one O and O1. On this one it's a B and D. And on this one you take a C okay so now we are moving from here to drop this one so we are moving from here so now you can see o to the e and d so o okay to the d and e so first we can drop e d okay so now o to the e and to the d okay see now once you drop any dark line below that one whatever the line goes is a dotted line because ab is a resting edge so ab is not visible the resting edge is always invisible okay so now trace the boundary so d to e already we have done so d to f will be the boundary okay so now f to a will go inside so f to o will be the boundary okay similarly here f to c will be the boundary and D to D will be the boundary okay so now B to C is a dotted line and F to A will be the dotted line okay next you check out B to O is a dotted and B to A is a dotted now O to O1 will be axis line like this okay 
what are the things to be noted here is c when you see from here okay so first take the one which is visible that is o e d okay o e d is visible so when this one is done so just from d and e you trace the boundary e to f f to a will go inside so f to o o to c and c to d so when this one is done resting edge is always invisible so a to b so when these things are in uh, dotted line the lines passing through that point will be dotted line okay it is like a mercedes symbol as we have already told in the previous problems also so like this so three lines originating from single point are a three dark line are three lines which are originating from a single point are a dotted line unless it's a boundary so if this is like a boundary so it will be like this boundary will be dark and two dotted line say for example we'll take one d okay so one two three all the three are a dark line so e all the three are dark line so if you take a f okay so one is dotted two are a dark because this is a boundary this is a boundary so this is a dotted and the remaining two will be uh, dark line okay so if you take at a, a so the a to b a to f a to o all the three are a dot, dotted line okay like this okay so one more once you drop any dark line below that one will be a dotted line only okay it will not be any dark line okay so now the resting edge that is ab okay will be inclined at a 30 degree to the vp so so once this one is done okay so now uh, we'll take a 30 degree line so we'll take any one reference some area okay we'll take a 30 degree line so now just drop a, a line on this one okay so this is 30 degree okay so now we'll take any one reference say for example here so that is what is rb okay so the ab measures 25 mm so it's a dotted line so what we'll do we'll take a one dotted line that is 25 mm here so this is our a okay so a and b so a and b is done so now what we'll do so we'll measure this end to end okay so it is around total 50 okay so from b it is 15 and from a here it is a 13 and from here it is uh, around uh, 11 okay so what we'll do from a till b so we'll take it is around 13 okay so from here we'll take a uh, around 13 okay so when this one is done so we have one two three okay three parallel lines so which are at a distance of uh, say 15 and a 15 okay so total it's a 30 so what we can do is uh, from each end we just drop 30 and a 15 okay so say again at the same point you take a uh, this is 30 and a 15 okay now you just drop a line into the end and into the end okay so now we got a b so now so this is our c this is our f okay so now from b keep that perpendicular drop a line and from a just keep a line and draw a perpendicular so this is our d and this is our e okay so this is how exactly we can replicate the x1 okay so just join so f2a is a dotted so b2c is a dotted okay so when this one is done from uh, b and a you will just take a reference of a o 
ओके ए ओ एंड बी ओ सो दिस इज आवर ओ ओके सो नाउ फ्रॉम ए इट्स अ डॉटेड लाइन सो फ्रॉम बी इट्स अ डॉटेड लाइन ओके सो देन डी डार्क एंड सी डार्क एफ डार्क देन सी डार्क Okay, so this one is done. Next step, we need to have O one. So O one, it will come from O line itself, and here we get. So this is our axis. Okay, so this is how exactly we can replicate the hexagon. So once this one is done, so now we'll take a projection. So topmost, and rightmost. Okay. So we'll have vertical, uh, horizontal because they are less in number. One. You will get a two. and last is the three hours on the x y line so we'll finish this is b dash and this is a dash so on this one it's a o dash okay so this is f so f is here so this is f dash next we'll go with the c so c dash so next is the d so d dash and e e dash f dash so now when you see from here okay so as a usual the face is visible so a b c d so so we'll say a to b to the c to the d to the e and to f and back to the e yeah. okay so now the things which are uh, going from here like uh, e d e f and c okay so now you can see d e and f so from the e there's a one dark line to the o so from the d there's a dark line to the o so now from the e there is a dark line to the o okay so rest and all are invisible okay so like this the last one is o1 so o1 it's a axis line so this is o1 dash okay so this is how exactly we can solve the edge inclination with a pyramid okay so thank you